Snowy night drives are stressful enough as it is, with all the tyres slipping and impaired vision, but this person had something else to worry about when they saw a figure waiting for them in the middle of the road. Sorry for the jump scare there, but it was so terrifying we couldn't ignore it. There is no backstory for this video. It was posted on a channel that only has free videos including this one, and it has no description. As spooky as it is, it does look like something from a horror film, doesn't it? Somebody in the comments even asked if it was from a film, and the OP liked the comment, suggesting that they don't even know where the clip came from. Do you think this is real footage of a slit mouth snow spirit? or some special effects makeup and a really good camera crew. This girl might prove that there is more to the human brain that we can even begin to grasp, and it will blow your mind. Trust me, take a look. The origins of this clip are pretty murky, but it looks like it was cropped out from CCTV footage. By the disposition of the tables, it could be two bored schoolgirls in detention, but one of them clearly didn't notice the camera because she started using what looked like her telekinesis power without giving a damn. Is this real? Can people actually learn how to control a part of their brain in a way that manipulates the environment around them, Matrix style? Or do we really live in a simulation? Heck, was this taken from a film or something? The footage and their reactions seem pretty realistic, that is, apart from the superpowers of course. What do you think? Is this some legit proof of telekinesis in action? Or some random scene from a movie? Let us know in the comments. The security guard was expecting it to be the same as any other shift when he was skimming through the cameras, until he saw this flying past the screen. The circular shape and blinding lights tend to point to one answer, that the aliens were making a quick getaway. But if we try to apply a more logical explanation, could it have been a drone? Possibly, but surely we would have seen a more defined shape or seen the propeller spinning, which we didn't. Still, that doesn't mean we can eliminate the possibility that this was either some sort of huge orb or a UFO. What do you think though? Let us know in the comments. Anyone who's watched the Harry Potter films or read the books has wanted the invisibility cloak at some point in their lives, and it looks like the person in this video managed to get their hands on it. While checking over some CCTV, this figure was spotted fading in and out of existence, seemingly. What the hell is that? With CCTV cameras, you can never be sure of what you see unless you know exactly what make of camera it is. Except here, we have no clue. For all we know, it could be some cheap tap from Wish or something, which is why the figure is phasing in and out of reality. But how does a figure just vanish completely on camera? Do you think this is some kind of technology defect or something much more sinister? Let us know in the comments. Our next video was sent by our dear viewer Belina on Instagram. The video is from the guys at the YouTube channel Fashat and Jeez, who have a penchant for exploring old, creepy, abandoned buildings at night. But this time around, the paranormal came back to bite them in the ass. They went from Rambo mode with their four camo suits. <laughs> to running for their spare pants in a heartbeat. But before you watch the bone chilling events that got them questioning their line of work, we first need to understand why they were there in the first place. They were called to investigate a village that was rumoured to be tormented by a jinn. The locals had enough of being scared every night, so they took their ghost hunting tools to find out why. 
Right from the get-go, it was evident that the evil that ravaged the area was still lurking. They are immediately met by sounds that could have only been caused by someone on the roof. This part of the village is said to be the paranormal hotspot, but this was just a taste of what was to come. Multiple creepy creatures can be seen lurking in the shadows by the window, and were only captured by the night vision camera. He couldn't see a thing with the naked eye. This was in the room right above them. Could it have been what made those sounds or sent the grass their way? What happened next shows that the danger might be closer than they think. <laughs> They returned to the room where they had set up, only to find their devices damaged rather mysteriously. Could they have had someone destroy it to add some credibility to their story? Or was it really time to pack up and leave? As they attempt to retrieve their things, the walls start to collapse. <laughs> Objects are thrown at them, and a heightened sense of hostility fills the area. They finally get the message and escape by the skin of their teeth. <laughs> Of course, this could all just be a good piece of spooky entertainment, but what if it isn't? What if they really came face to face with something neither they nor the locals could ever explain? Creepy, right? Being alone in your room as a kid is usually either me time or a time out. For this kid though, it was a paranormal punch in the face. You know a kid is super spooked when they leave their phone behind. We can't see anything that would move the bed, so could this be a disgruntled ghost or perhaps a possessed bed frame? But why did the kid put a stuffed toy down the side of the bed? And why have such a delayed reaction? Could it have been a signal for someone to move the bed so they could get the perfect shot? What do you think? Let us know. We've all at least seen a fairground ghost train at least once in our lives. They range from blood curdling to hilarious. But one thing they all have in common is they're quite fun, except this one. Uh, oh boy. What the? Uh, well, that ain't good. Don't know who's running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. You're probably thinking the scary part about this is that it's moving on its own. But propane engines exist, and the vehicle was probably just set to run a while before... Oh no. The locomotive itself isn't the petrifying thing. It's what's on it. Take a close look at the back of the caboose right at the end of the video when he pans the camera back around. Either this video was taken in Florida, and crouching naked on all fours in the back of the train is a standard Florida man activity, or skinwalkers have managed to figure out public transport. Exploring abandoned urban structures at stupid o'clock is what gets these guys going. But when the paranormal comes back to bite you in the ass, your bravado will leave you with nothing more than sweaty heads 
and peed pants. And they were just about to learn that the hard way. Oh yeah. See man, this is what I meant. This is what I meant. Oh. Oh my god. Hold up. Ah! <laughs> give me that, give me that. Oh, it's your face. The two self acclaimed paranormal investigators set out to explore a recently vacated chapel locals believe to have been plagued by ghostly sightings, whispers, shouting, and sometimes very violent poltergeist activities. They knew they were in for a spook fest when they saw this just as they stepped in. They see giant, healthy maggots on the floor like they had a feast on something big, but they hopped past them to go upstairs and realized that all the tales they heard about the place were true. It all started with a subtle sound. Then this happens. No, I, I hear something. I heard something. Get out. As they scanned the play area for the source of the spine chilling sound, the supposed spirit pulled a classic hope you see me now move, leaving no room for doubt. With adrenaline pumping and goose pimples on high alert, they didn't need another invitation. It was time to make a hasty retreat for the exit. If you enjoyed our latest video, here's a little more alien footage to get you thinking about dusting off that tinfoil hat. Yes. Just a pre-warning, this isn't a scene from Star Trek. If this is real, then this is the best proof of alien abductions the world has ever seen. Sure, the video could so easily be edited. The person just despawns and spawns back again by the looks of it. Did Scotty beam him up? Or have the ones up there been playing too much World of Warcraft? What do you think? No need to beam me up, sir. The situation is under control. When the government of a first world country admits to catching strange unexplainable events on camera, that's when we know things are about to get real. 
took off. Let's go get it. Frank Omaha, 15 kid, Rocco Carl's with passive ability to launch Hilo ASAP. Yeah, we have a uh, 31 knots sustained outside. What was splashed? Splashed. Mark bearing a range. The US Navy, as exclaimed by longtime paranormal journalist Jeremy Corbyn, is a technology that is in our skies that is far beyond anything that we have. And our military has, has admitted that much. Our government to date has admitted that much that there are craft that do things that seem impossible to us with our basic understanding of physics. And we don't know who flies them. Caught something on their security cameras years back, which screens proof of extraterrestrial life. The video immediately starts off with a mysterious spherical object blazing through the sky at an amazing speed. Yes, we are definitely questioning the camera quality of the US Navy, but other than that, it could be said that it was far ahead, making it hard to scope out. The video seems to be legit as far as we are concerned, but that doesn't explicitly mean that it was an actual alien spaceship. It could have been anything, but should we keep an open mind? What do you think? Is this proof of the cheeky Miami aliens piloting another UFO, or just one of our aerial creations gone rogue? Let us know in the comments. Grandma's house tends to be a place that represents warmth and comfort. You usually leave with a full belly and a £20 note in your pocket. But for this person, their grandma's house represented fear and a need to always bring their spare brown pants. In their grandma's house, there was a chest of drawers, which came with strict instructions. Never open the top drawer, which they abided by, until tragedy struck when their grandfather decided to take his last breath. The night before the funeral, they heard a strange noise coming from the drawer room downstairs and went to check it out, which is where they saw their grandma inside flicking through an old photo album, and the door that should never be opened was open. She placed the album behind the door and smiled, a smile they would not be able to get out of their head. They were itching to know what was inside the photo album and in the drawer, so they sneaked a peek when their grandma wasn't around, which is when they saw a myriad of creepy dolls and the photo album with images of their grandmother when she was young. These images immediately made them feel sick to the point where they had to pay a visit to their local hospital, unable to bring a high, feverish temperature down. They avoided their grandma after this, but when she passed, they called upon the guys over on the fourth wall to go check out the house and dispose of the album, which they did, not before having a nose through though, and what they saw made their blood run cold.
cute now. He dropped the camera to the floor and quickly left the house, claiming he felt the album was dangerous. But if you look at the door behind him just before he leaves, he had company. The figure of a man on the floor with his head bowed, lurking behind him this whole time. Maguro was sent to pick up the pieces, and the thing that sent the first shiver down his spine was the fact that the album was still on the floor. Even when Kaneko said he put it back where he had found it. Maguro also found something else wrong with the forbidden chest door. A doll was missing. Which he then found inside a baby carriage outside the front door but he never expected the chilling discovery he was about to make. Someone has used this doll to make some kind of Asian version of a voodoo doll. It's been pierced repeatedly with what looks like a needle. And pairing that with the strange, ritualistic photos in the album, was Grandma involved in something cursed beyond our comprehension? Is that why she was smiling looking at the album before her husband's funeral? Maybe because she cursed it. Was that figure behind the door Grandpa's spirit? Either way, we probably won't be going for a Sunday dinner around this grandma's house anytime soon. It was just another day at the office for this bartender when something that would make her question reality happened. Luckily, it was captured on camera. Let's watch. After she filled the Stella glass with beer, she carefully set it down, but as soon as she turned to get something else, the glass defied gravity and got mysteriously knocked over. I have never been on the other side of a bar counter, so I wouldn't know if it were clumsiness, gravity playing tricks, or a mischievous poltergeist lurking about. The bar owners, perplexed by this uncanny event, were left scratching their heads in bewilderment, and so were we. It's been a minute since we dipped our toes into Glitched in the Matrix videos. And it seems like this one is covered in feathers. It's grab time! Um, what the fuck? <gasps> Why are they all not moving? What? What is happening right now? Babies? This isn't the first time small birds have been caught glitching. Take a look at this. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Oh, goodness. Where y'all going? Where are you going? 
You ready for some grubs? Let's go! It's grub time! Um, what the fool? <gasps> Why are they all not moving? What the hell is going on? It could be a defense mechanism, maybe. When a flock of smaller birds hear a noise they perceive as dangerous, they will all freeze. One chicken tender, pardon the pun, even points out that you can hear one chicken's noise to alert the others. Where are you going? <laughs> but there is always a chance this wasn't survival instinct. An Earth supercomputer made all the birds glitch. These ladies thought it was the latter. What about you? When you're ill, you're at a much higher risk of hallucinations. At least that's what this person thought when they were home sick alone and saw something terrifying crawling up the stairs. But when they whipped their camera out, they realized that those worst nightmares had come true. Hola, gente. Otra vez el ruido ese. Foco estoy haciendo una compañía hoy, pero ya estoy sola. Todavía se escucha el ruido de abajo. Y la verdad que no sé. Ay, la con el olor a garbón. Sora. Sora, subí. Looks like the grudge wasn't as fictional as we once thought. It's pretty handy, no pun intended, that the second they got downstairs, the thing was gone. While it could definitely be some trickery of the ghostly variety, there's also a chance it was their mate hiding under the staircase who ran into the dark doorway at the back of the room. A commenter pointed out that the dog might have been in there because they saw the person running and thought they were playing. What do you think happened here? Real life horror movie? Or a scary home video? Believe it or not, the dead could potentially have a way of communicating and interacting with the living, especially their loved ones. There are so many personal accounts reported worldwide. The scary video you're about to watch is where you really begin to question what can be faked and what can't. Watch out, there's something even more terrifying at the end of this video that not many people noticed. Take a look. While this might look like another attempt at social media fame by faking a ghost video, it's important to look at the backstory and some hidden facts. The girl in question had just recently lost her grandmother, and while she was getting ready in front of the mirror, she noticed a strange, gentle pull on her hair. That was when she decided to record the bizarre incident on her phone. Secondly, and most freakishly, there is a delay in her shadow as she lifts her hand from the table. Did you notice it? Could they have been using fishing lines even though how the hair bounced suggests otherwise? Software masking seems very unlikely in this case too. Or perhaps it was the ghostly hand of her grandmother filling her hair one last time before following the light. Or something far more sinister announcing its unholy presence. How could you fake something like this? We'll let you decide. Anybody with kids will tell you that you know something is up when the house goes quiet. So when the noise stopped in this woman's house, she snuck over to check on her son with her camera, praying to all the saints that her son was reading, rather than covering the room in baby powder. But instead of catching him bouncing off the walls, she caught something much worse. John! 
Find her! Who or what the hell was that? And more importantly, why would it be peeking through the toddler's window? Are they being stalked by a skinwalker, a ghost, or worse, peeping Tom from down the road? What a creep. This next video left some viewers scratching their heads in confusion, and it did just that for us as we watched this girl probably make the next hit TikTok dance. See if you can guess what she captured on camera. She gets an unexpected visitor, or should we say an invader. As the video continues, the closet slides open from the inside, and then a strange creature zooms out, almost like it's running for its life, or trying not to get caught. You could say it looks like a rodent, but watch closely. It's seen at the edge of the closet, but it doesn't look like it has any legs, head, or anything else other than looking like a small blob or fur. Is it just us, or do you find this one strange too? The girl seems oblivious to the creature, so we can't outright say she's to blame, but neither are we willing to accept it is an ordinary squirrel who just wanted to get cozy in her closet. What do you think? Rat? Squirrel? Heck, alien? You let us know in the comments. Usually when somebody claims to have caught footage of a spirit touching them, it doesn't work too well as paranormal evidence, as you're relying totally on that person telling the truth and not mistaking something innocent brushing up against them as something ghostly. But that consensus didn't stop Truth Paranormal, as he was able to catch evidence of being touched that we are struggling to debunk. We'll show you a zoomed in, slowed down version, just in case you didn't catch it. What business this ghost had pulling his shorts down, we don't know, and probably don't want to know either. He didn't shift his legs or his torso at all before they were pulled, so it couldn't be why the shorts moved. If there were some kind of strings attached to the shorts, we would have seen some sort of bunching from where it was tied to the fabric, and the shorts looked like slimmer fitting ones, so they didn't just drop from excess fabric or anything. So what the hell happened here? The guy behind the channel is a haunted item collector with a soft spot for creepy dolls, which might be an explanation, but what do you think? Any ideas as to what happened here? Or is this a handsy ghost? If you've missed any of our deep dives through a selection of scarily compelling paranormal videos, buckle up, because today we are digging deep into what many consider to be one of the best pieces of paranormal evidence ever captured on camera. Going on now, pack it in, I've already done. Winston, put my tea down, hell. Guys, I've just been I've just got my tea ready, I've put the football on, England versus Brazil, gone toilet, come back, and he's messy. What the f are you doing? What the f are you doing? He's been pretty quiet today and yesterday, guys. Just playing with the balloons, mainly. 
I'm just watching the film, but I've just turned it off. It's been pretty quiet today, yesterday, guys. Just playing with the balloons, mate. I'm just watching the film, but I've just turned it off. Okay, guys, I've been out all for the weekend. I'm gonna let you strip. It's all for all of them. Alright, that's enough. What the f are you doing now, Winston? Put it f down. Put it down right now. Whether you've already seen some of these scary videos on other paranormal channels or not, trust me, there is way more to this story than what they told you, and we're all over it. So let's cover all bases, and send a massive shout out to Erica Peterson for suggesting this page to us. It all started when Leighton, from Manchester UK, went round to his neighbour's flat while she was away to check her post. According to him, she was gone for quite a while, so he decided to share the story on TikTok in hopes that somebody might know her whereabouts. But when he started hearing some strange noises coming from inside a locked cupboard near her walls, things took a turn. The banging has started again, guys. Can our lights just come back on? People in the comments have been saying they, it might be rats. Maybe like they've damaged the electrical system, you know, biting wires or something. And the noise in here is wind or a rat trying to get out. There's no one in there, guys, I promise. Whoa, what the f are all that? What are them orbs, guys? Whoa. I don't believe in paranormal stuff, but. Well, I wouldn't be in here. There's got to be an explanation, guys, for all this. Seriously. The more he checked her flat, the more weird stuff started happening. Banging has started again, guys. Ooh, switch as well. Light's gone off again. Someone said it might be the trip, but obviously the hallway light would go off as well. So I'm not really convinced, to be honest. Not convinced at all. Banging stops. Light's gone off. Now the f what the f pixel? Jesus f Christ! Whoa, guys, what the f? Virtual coin. 1965. Churchill coin. It got so bizarre that he had to take a deep breath and open the noisy kitchen cupboard door, only for it to be empty, except for a bunch of pipes and an old spooky coin, which turns out to be a silver crown. After this, quite a few of his videos went viral in the paranormal and debunking communities, which led him to make a video over a McDonald's breakfast preaching that he isn't faking. About 60 to 70% of people are convinced because it's what you see is what you get. It's raw footage straight off my phone. Um, it's happening straight in front of you. There's no smoke and mirrors or anything like that. So about 60 to 70% of people are like, this is the most authentic raw footage ever that's ever been delivered to the public. And there's, you know, and the other percentage are people who are a bit doubtful, are people who are straight up saying, he's conning you, it's a hoax, blah, 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 he's using fishing line to turn lights on. Okay, guys, if you think I'm turning lights on with fishing line. One of the questions the doubters have are things like, why does the TV not fall on the floor? Why does this happen and not this, blah, blah, blah. I don't decide, guys. I don't decide. If my TV goes on the floor, I will do everything I can to get rid of this thing, what's going on. He makes some good points about how using fishing wire for this fakery would be borderline impossible, especially considering he always shows close-ups. 
making the video extremely hard to debunk in any way. Why would he be faking such a big story though? Well, there's a lot of fame riding on paranormal content. Could this be why he keeps travelling over to the neighbour's flat and recording? Well, lucky for him, he didn't have to carry on going next door because whatever the hell was in there followed him to his flat and was not too happy with the Feng Shui. Alright, the blind cord was moving, so I was trying to get footage of it. The lamp has been playing up. Doors even shut this time, guys. The second it made its way into his home, he should have dropped the camera and ignored it. But he didn't, and things got more physical. Do not like that's the first time for that. Nah, no, they got that one. Time to go, guys. Real or not, he kept on recording and engaging with whatever was in his house, which he started regressing properly the morning after a wild night out. All day, I've just sat down ten minutes ago to eat my subway and watch a film. The main lights come on. Now he's playing with the fucking blinds. Someone told me to put a candle on the table, so I put a candle on. Someone said it'll help it go to the light, but it's playing up. It's when I'm trying to relax. I've got a f***ing hangover, you dead. My TV's off. I can't even f***ing relax on a Saturday with an hangover. F***ing hell. When are you going to give up? F*** me. I'm packing the f***ing bags. What are you going to do then? You've been quiet for a couple of hours, guys, but now that's shaking the lampshade. Little f***er. Don't have a picture's been moved as well like it was yesterday. Just don't have a fucking day off. I want to try and catch that picture again. If you look at my footage yesterday, that picture keeps moving. I want to try and catch it again. Oh, you know what? We would be that mad if we were hungover and somebody was messing with the lights and the blinds. The lampshade. Little fuck. He said in the comments that he ended up retiring to his bedroom after this to eat his sandwich as the activity didn't follow him there for some reason. And then there was silence. Until he posted another video, McDonald's in hand, where he outlined some more events that had been taking place off camera. Uh, I got a, a witch involved last week when I was on live streaming that, that witch wanted to try some black magic. That didn't work, it actually made things a bit worse temporarily. So people are saying things like, oh, get some priests and mediums around. I can't just click my fingers, guys, and get a reputable priest or medium or paranormal team around. It's a process. Like I say, it's been going on for two and a half weeks, and then go and investigate it themselves. My videos are undebunkable because it's authentic raw footage of my phone. Uh, there's no smoking rivers, guys. Unless I'm the best magician in the planet to, 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 to deliver 20 to 2025 videos that are undebunkable, I'd have to be the best magician on the planet. That's why they're blowing up. One of my videos has had over 10 million views. Collectively, in the last two weeks, I've had over 30 million views. You see what I'm trying to say, guys? So there's a reason it's blowing up. It's being spoke about around the world, experts and paranormal um, communities and just the general population is, I've got the eyes on this. One thing he seems to focus on is the amount of views his videos were getting. When he recorded that video in February, he had amassed around 30 million views. And he claims that this is because no experts can debunk anything he's posted online. He also calls out other creators in the paranormal activity who, according to him, can't publish raw footage like he does. My videos are undebunkable because it's authentic raw footage of my phone. Uh, there's no smoking rivers, guys. Unless I'm the best magician in the planet to, 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 to deliver 20 to 2025 videos that are undebunkable, I'd have to be the best magician on the planet. He's talking the talk, but is he walking the walk? Well, as far as we can see, he seems to be. He started learning how to use door handles. Little bastard. No one there. Oh, I got that quick. I've started locking my doors, guys, when I've caught footage. Because people keep saying people are helping me and running away. I can show you the full door. I don't know what else I can keep doing, guys. Full door. Everything, both sides. This is why I'm doing raw footage, guys. So I can come up close to things and investigate them properly. Instead of a camera in the corner of the room. 
Well, if I put a camera in the corner of the room, room there, guys, and this opens, it just looks staged. I'm coming over, investigating things when they happen. It's more authentic footage, it's why the videos are blowing up. We can't spot any jump cuts or strings so far, and considering the footage is not from a static camera, it seems incredibly unlikely that a random guy in Salford, in a council estate, without a professional editing team, could be using software masking techniques to fake something like this on a moving camera. And plus, the whole thing happened so quickly, would anyone even have been able to open it and run out of view? As he carried on encouraging this supposed spirit, the activity got closer and closer to him. Holy water, guys. Holy water, guys. Holy water in a little bottle is a new one for us, but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. As we delve deeper into his account, the videos start to get more unexplainable. Whoa, guys, I went to the toilet. Come back. TV was off and that black balloon was on here. Oh, what that means. What, do you think, do you think it likes the black balloon or doesn't like it? I don't know. But something. Just do the chairs, guys. How would the balloon have bounced against the floor like that? Well, one keen-eyed commenter noticed that when the balloon moves, he moves the camera almost in unison. Could he be doing something off-camera to make it move? What could that possibly be? And he always goes above and beyond to prove what's happening in his house is real, going as far as tying strings to the door handles and shoving flour all over the floor. Can you little bastard, 100% door guys, handle. Thank you, you little f Finally f me. Right, people have asked for string on there in case someone's called in the door. Check the ceiling in case I'm friends with Spider Man. He wants his flower coming a bit closer to the door in case someone can hide there. Don't even make sense. There you go, guys. I've delivered everything I've been asked. And that's the final one. That's the final one. I'm going out soon. The last video I've just put, I've just uploaded, guys. You know, I put the flower on the floor, proved there's no video editing, green suits and things like that. It's raw footage, 100% off my phone. There's not a digital ed expert on the planet that can debunk my footage because there's no edits involved. Remember people listen. Could he be using some sort of mechanism in the door handle? Thank you, you little f off. Well, he decided he needed a bit of a break from his new ghostly flatmate, so he went on a little holiday to Malta. Except it seemed like somebody else wanted some sun, sea, and sand. How this poltergeist was able to get onto a plane and thousands of meters into the sky, we don't know, but this would be enough to set us on all kinds of edge. But he was able to record some footage from his room in Malta, which left a lot of people very suspicious, especially when they saw the balcony layout. Again, guys, I've not long got back from food. I was out having some food, bag was on there. I've come back, that bag was full. What, guys? <laughs> it's f***ing weird, fuck. So I'm gonna ask what people say anymore, guys, to be honest. There's no one on the balcony. Next balcony's there, so if you think, I'm not even that, I'm, the only explanation, guys, is if someone's over there helping me. So I don't care anymore. There's no weird fishing lines or anything on the balcony. I've just shown it straight from there. There's fucking over here or anything like that. He could have quite easily asked a neighbour to pull a string from their balcony, but we would have seen the line glistening. Line or no line, this bag has been put through it. Check out his next video where it nearly went toppling to the ground. <laughs> Did in Winston, you look. I think he tried to get it out, but it won't open properly. I'm gonna be as careful as I can, guys, because I don't even like touching stuff. 
when I'm do documenting footage, people are saying it's fishing line and shit like this. People have accused me of having birds inside my bag. As these clips gained traction, more debunkers filled the comments, and he posted multiple close-up videos to try and convince them that it was all real. The haters are going to hate me even more after this video. Can you see that hair there, guys? So on the last video, everybody's saying, oh, 23 seconds, you can see fishing line coming out of there. It's a hair, guys. I put it there on purpose. This is one of, look, there's loads of hairs. I see in these hairs, dog hairs or something, I thought I'll put one in there, so everybody thinks it's fishing line. And here's the thing, guys. I'm trolling you at this point now. This is for the haters. If they, so if they want, so if, and now you're going to say I've replaced it. So if that was fishing line, explain how the bag came up here. If that, is, if that was fishing line, explain how the bag came up to here. There's no explanation. So guys, you think hair is fishing line now? You need to start doing better. I've told you time and time again, if you look for something hard enough, you're gonna find it. All the while trying to enjoy his holiday, which all went out the window, quite literally. The door. Kenny's debunking was somebody's following me, running round me, following me. No guys, no, 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 no. Unless I'm friends with Usain Bolt. Right, that's that one I need to do. I'm dizzy now, I need to do this one properly. It's the last time I'm documenting it guys, last time. Right, doors out here are shut. The lock's on there. You can clearly see. You would hear that door anyway, guys. Bedroom door, you would hear somewhere in there. Just to confirm, you would hear that one as well. That's what, guys. This is the last time I'm documenting, guys. Kenny, what everybody was saying, Kenny said somebody was running behind you. That's why you couldn't see them in the room. Nobody can move as quick as I spun around, guys. Somebody said there was someone hiding behind the curtain. I put the curtain behind the handle. Somebody said there's someone hiding behind the door. Oops, need that phone. And pushed it with the brush. Let's bear in mind, guys, how far away I was. I was sat in that chair. He returned home and so did his ghostly friend and made it well known that he was in the building. He's popped the blue balloon as well now, guys. Blue and purple. I had some spares, there was about 10 in a packet. So I blew two more up. Same design and things. Whoa! Ooh, you know, what the fuck, guys? A few cries of there's a cut here echoed in the comment section, and the way the bloom vanished at 14 seconds in does seem a bit sus. But what would he be popping them all with? If there were a needle embedded in the sofa or the chair, we would see it sooner or later, so what's going on? He tested out the reaction to balloons in a few more videos, which is when he caught this. <laughs> As spooky as it is, we can't imagine that he was genuinely sitting there recording himself playing around with a balloon for two straight hours waiting for activity to happen. Can you? The same question we asked at the start of this segment still resonates now. How the hell is he faking all of this so smoothly? Could he live in a real life haunted house? With such a large amount of views on these videos, you'd think there would be some kind of definitive answer to it all by now. But there isn't. Every time somebody comes up with a debunk, he can raise them an even better explanation and an even spookier video. I'm taking the fucking piss with my new fucking trainers, you little prick. What the fuck are you doing, Winston? What the fuck, man? And just as everybody was on the edge of their seats for this story to hit the mainstream media and for the activity to ramp up further, he came out with his most shocking video yet. But keep a close eye on his body language because it often says more than any words can. I wanted to see who could debunk me in the world. Not one person on the planet was able to debunk me. Everybody was saying I was using fishing line. I was using yellow rope, easily spotted on videos if, you, if, if it was on videos. So when people were saying, oh, I can see fishing line, no, you couldn't. Every, every debunk on the planet, every paranormal team on the planet got it wrong. Kenner, the top debunker in the world was convinced I was using fishing line. He's no longer the top debunker. I'm the new top debunker because I've debunked the debunkers effectively. 
So here's Winston, yellow rope, not fishing line. There's a difference between using fishing line and mastering the art of hiding line, rope, wire, or anything like that. Why would I use fishing line? Some of the some of the some of the things I've done, fishing line cannot handle that force or talk. So I, you, have, you have to use rope. This is why people like Kenny, when they're trying to debunk me, are using you know a little bit of force because the fishing line would snap, guys. People are saying, oh, it can catch big tuna or whatever. It would snap, guys. Trust me. We've all heard the stories. When you come across something you shouldn't, you can bet someone's going to come storming in to give you a warning. So why was he so adamant that it was real? To the point that he was being sarky with any commenter who even suggested it could be fake. Not one person on the planet was able to debunk me. And now he's mocking the people who believed him too, saying that everybody was wasting their time because the paranormal is not real. Something doesn't add up here. I'm just having a bit of fun now with the debunkers. This is a challenge for Kenny Biddle, the world's number one debunker. And he shows his floor, but he's 10 metres away. I can't, there's no fishing line, guys. 100% there's no fishing line there, is there? Kenny Biddle stands 10 metres away and does this to show there's no fishing line. Look, get close up, Kenny, like me. Get, you know, one metre away with your flash on your phone to show there's no fishing line. So, you know, like I say, um, this is a challenge for Kenny. So Winston, when you're ready, open the door, mate. Oh, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. He's just, it, it's not fun anymore, honestly. It's, it's just not fun anymore. In the comments section, he was responding to disappointed viewers by saying some strange things. The first one being that he was going to introduce upgraded Winston 2.0 soon, and people weren't happy, calling him a fraud and saying that nobody would watch him now they knew he was faking it which was when he posted this very strange comment. Who above the police would care about paranormal videos? He made a video explaining all this after so many people were left high and dry. A few people asked me who contacted me. No, it wasn't me, Men in Black. I was contacted. I will explain more in a couple of weeks. I'm leaving the country in a couple of weeks, so I will make a more detailed video. This is a quick, um, you know, brief explanation. I was contacted because uh, I a country, a city in a country in South America. My vi my videos went absolutely viral locally. It caused a few issues locally because they have strong beliefs and opinions on paranormal. Thus, the local authorities over there contacted UK authorities who knocked on my door. So I will explain more. Um, I wasn't asked later, is it fake or is it real? I was asked to announce on TikTok, I've staged it all with rope because fishing line doesn't explain some of the force and talk scene on some of the videos. So yeah. And somehow you're probably left even more confused. He says he's leaving the country, which sounds like a pretty radical thing to do. Is he trying to escape whoever gave him the warning? Well, no. Or is he being told what to say now? He left a comment saying he was just going travelling because he wanted to. So the problem we have now is, at which point was he telling us the truth? When he was insisting the activity was real at all costs, or when he said it was all done with ropes, or when he said some higher entity came knocking on his door, the problem we have is that we still don't know. But after he posted that video, he started uploading more paranormal content that was even harder to explain. Let's see if he does it again, guys, with the with that on top. Can't really see, but move it, Winston. Oh, it's nothing to do with the kind guys. People saying it is it to do with them kinds over there. Yesterday, Kenner debunked me, so it's time to raise the stakes. I'm going to seal the box. He claimed I was using a turkey baster to blow air underneath the tub. Now that's not a possibility, Kenna. When you're ready, Winston, make the Queen dance. Oh, now Kenny's in trouble. Oh, Kenna, what are you going to do, my friend? Now you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, no! What's Kenny going to do? 100% sealed bag, guys. Thank you, Winston. You always deliver when it's time. So yeah, so one, thank you, that's enough. Wait a minute. 
Thanks for having there, guys. Coins are not fixed. I'll even put some coins on top. Randomly placed. When you're ready, Winston, move. Dance. Thank you. So what the hell is going on? He's in the comment section now with the same amount of sass towards debunkers that he had before. But we know he must have lied about something here, which makes it difficult to believe anything else he says or does. Was this all a strategic play on TikTok's algorithm? If you remember the first videos of his, you'll remember that he was very adamant about the fact that his videos were amassing millions of views. A few weeks before his admission video, his views were declining. Here are his views leading up to the big reveal, and here are his standard views when he first started going viral. And after he flipped the story around on his head, and said that he was forced to say the footage was faked, his views skyrocketed again. Funny, isn't it? While his footage is indeed very convincing, in fact he kept owning all the self-proclaimed professional debunkers with valid comebacks full of evidence against every accusation. But to be fair, all the debunkers could come up with was the usual assumptions without showing us unmistakable proof that he was indeed faking it all. So maybe it's time for us non-debunkers to have a go. Shall we? We don't have a degree from the debunking university, but what we do have is a very keen eye for detail, and that is how we found this. I got home about an hour ago, guys. Winston's been messing with the chairs already. I think it's gonna be a long day today. hard to spot, isn't it? That's because the footage is gradually changing, making it almost impossible to notice. But what happened when we jump from the first second of footage to the third second repeatedly? Take a look. Did you spot it? It's software masking. Let's see a few more examples. Keep an eye on the chair and the radiator. Can you see it? If we speed this one up, you can even see the chair magically enlarging itself. We can clearly see the masked area where he could have been moving the objects and then edited himself out of the footage, replacing that area with footage from when he wasn't there. And here, the floor, the grey trousers and the white bar keep enlarging and shrinking, as well as the shadow changing, which tells us that the footage was not recorded at the same time. Our theory? Well first, he shot the area empty with nobody there, then he shot himself on the left side of the screen moving the coat hangers. During video editing, he replaced the left area of the screen which is showing him, with the footage from the empty room, giving us the illusion that the items are moving by themselves. You can even see a line on the floor that separates both pieces of footage. And to be fair, we did go over his earlier videos too, slowing down and zooming in, and couldn't find any of this type of fakery. So maybe, just maybe, whichever entity that is apparently higher than the actual police could have forced him to start faking his latest videos to get us off his paranormal case. Or are we reading too much into it? Was this a brilliant social experiment conducted by a man who wanted to see how far he could bend the algorithm in his favour? Or what was genuine paranormal activity at first turned into a conspiracy to make everyone believe that he's faking his videos? What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. In the cool of the afternoon, somewhere in Indonesia, a store's security camera caught a disturbing event that the owner and neighbours had a hard time believing. Take a look at the anomaly that was seen. The store owner was reviewing his CCTV footage when he noticed two dogs and their absurd behaviour in the presence of an entity that didn't seem to be there. The figure appeared to be giving the dogs treats, but they were hesitant to approach the figure or take its treats. 
making the video more concerning. Could it have been otherworldly? Or was the camera so faulty that it somehow smeared the image of a person? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Don't forget to bump the like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.